Hello everyone, I'm back and today I'm going to talk about Bitbucket pipelines. Um, I didn't know about it, it has been a while from the last time that I used my Bitbucket um, repositories and today I went there and I realized that they have pretty amazing templates for creating pipelines, a gem of configuration and so today I'm going to talk about how to create a pretty simple pipeline, give you an overview uh, what you can do. Um, you can find all the documentations in the um, Product Feature Pipelines URL from Bitbucket documentation. And you can see that you can create a uh, really pretty simple, it's really easy to create CI CD uh, pipelines, set of configuration, integration uh, with Jira. And those are different topics. But today I'm going to focus on this part how to build a pretty simple small pipeline. So, I'm going to start with creating a simple repository here. Um, let's create it here. It's going to be my new pipeline, pipeline demo. Let's say I'm going to create a, something like a, include a readme. It's not a big deal. I'm going to create that pipeline. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this pipeline and then I'm going to send the image, uh, a new image here. The example I'm going to use is Docker, but I'm going to show you what you can do uh, with this pipeline. It's pretty empty. So in the section here, you will see there's a pipeline um, section. And then they give you a pretty simple uh, overview of what you can do, what kind of build. Then you can choose the language that you want to use. We can use Docker, or Java, uh, with Gradle. Uh, compiler, we can use uh, we can use Java with Maven, JavaScript, and then even more. Uh, that's pretty cool because if you see, you can do .NET Core. But my concern is, I believe you can do .NET Core only for um, Unix uh, because here there's a there's a comment here. Let's say Windows and Macs are not supported yet. But either way, this is still pretty amazing. If you choose other, uh, then you can see. The pipeline in your left, pretty simple, bending here in pipelines and steps. You see all this integration with different uh, cloud providers like AWS Code Deploy, that's amazing. You can do Firebase, you can do Google App Engine deployment, and then even more. If we click in more, all of this, this is pretty cool. You can do Elastic Beanstalk, all this integration. That's really amazing. And then you have Windows, um, Azure. Actually, you have Bitbucket log file. Wow, that's a lot. I didn't check this one before, so I'm just wondering when they add in all this. This is really amazing. You can do code quality you have for monitoring. Um, that's really, really, really good. So uh, the example I want to show you um, today is going to be really simple. Let's just start it with a sample. Let's use Docker. And then as you can see here, let's close uh, this bar. Um, then you can see here, um, this is an image that is a flash and default image too. And they are really popular. What is going to be basically your Docker build? Because most of the people are using Docker or trying to containerize your applications. Um, so this, the first step here in the Docker is going to be something really simple. Let's share this part here. Let's use our my account. It's going to be the account that I have there, and the image is going to be new pipeline demo. Um, I want to keep this part, the Bitbucket comic, so different comments every time that I build. And the image name, the Docker login, the username, and the Docker password. So these variables, you can store it if you go here. And then in this section, you can create variable for this build. And I'm going to use those variables here. I'm going to use this variable, my username. Here you can add a secure if you want to see it. You don't want to see it in the um, in the logs. So let's do the same thing for for the password. Let's do the password here, and then I'm gonna add that one secure. There you go. And then we can try this this configuration. It's pretty simple. Let's try to this one. This one is gonna be my first time doing this. I just playing a little bit around with all this. So I can connect, then build the image, 
and if I commit this one, let's commit this file. Okay, I commit the file. Let's see what happened here. Let's do in the build setup. This is first step. Oh, basically, I believe um, this is really simple. They have a lot of um, future that you can do cache, you can do a script, you can do different commands. But I believe this one is going to fail because I didn't add any Docker file. I guess, all right. So we can see here what is going on. Okay, there you go. It's running, it's doing the spore. Uh, the pipeline is going to be using the commit and is unable to find the content enable the docker file it's just that's 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 make sense we don't have any docker file so we can go to our source code and say um let's go add a new file and the file name is going to be docker file and then here we're going to do from ubuntu latest And then we do label maybe label and then we're gonna do owner equal me and we can do a label version 1.0 point perfect let's commit it again docker file that, that's fine create it and let's see what happened I believe it's automatically trigger another bill Let's try to see the pipeline. What's going on here? And there you go. It's triggering automatically another bill, and they give you this view, also you can keep tracking uh, the status on every bill, every commit. Let's see what happened here. Okay, that's amazing. So was bill. Let's see the whole process here, and then we will see the password because those are variables, and then it's pushing the image to our repository in docker hubs i can check here in my account and see, let's see if that is there and there you go the image is here it was compiled and the tag is the the bbucket commit tag that's pretty amazing it's pretty wonderful um you can do you can keep tracking you can do deployments or different pylamps and they say that you can have run the pylamp we can run in a specific branch and then we can select which kind of pipeline we want to run for example if we do master we only have default because that's the one that we define you can do a schedule let's see in the schedule what do you have you can do pipeline default okay uh, it's not really flexible i would like to see something more like um, maybe a crown configuration that you can specify every 15 minutes every hour that that's maybe something they're working in the future. Oh, this could be a to run. Maybe we can check here. But that's the basic example that I want to show you. Oh, maybe they have it. Okay, I have to read more about it. Um, let's see, they have cache. If you want to do some cache, maybe you have to do some cache configuration. And they give you 50 free minutes in this period. So you can use it. Uh, monthly do you have free you can execute 50 uh, uh, pylamps execution that's pretty nice is you are testing or you are trying to get an idea what's going on you can use it for free um, this is the basic idea that I want to show you I hope you like it if you learn anything new if you have any questions if you want to see something more um, uh, with more details about this uh, new uh, big bucket by lamps configuration which is really amazing uh, just let me know leave a comment in the video and thank you so much for watching my video see you in the next one bye